This is a story about two stepsisters named Kumba Am and Kumba Amul. Once upon a time there was two stepsisters who lived together. One was called Kumba Am because her mother was still alive. The other was called Kumba Amul for she has lost her mother. Kumba Amul's stepmother was mean to her but kind to her stepsister. For most of the days Kumba Am played while Kumba Amul did chores. One morning after Kumba Amul had washed all of her utensils her stepmother called out angrily The calabash bowl is still dirty take it and go to scrub it in the sea of Dian Kumba Amul didn't know how to find the sea but she did dare to question her stepmother she picked up the calabash and left the compound At the sunset she came upon a baobab tree shaking down its own trees she reached to grab some then pulled her hand back remembering it was rude to take them without being offered where are you going my child asked the enchanted baobab tree the sea of dian to wash the calabash she politely replied take these fruits with you and go in peace responded the tree kumba amul thanked the tree and chewed the fruits heartily they lasted until the second second when she came across another curious sight over a fire a cooking pot was filling itself with vegetables surprised at the sight of the pot stirring its own stew kumba amul nearly forgot her manners she quickly greeted the pot and the pot greeted her in return for your kindness said the cooking pot please taste some of my stew at the end of the third day kumba amul came across a woman who had only one eye and one tooth i am very lonely said the woman please come here and listen to my stories and spend the night with me kumba amul respected her elders and followed the lady After a night of stories and restful sleep Kumba Amul was ready to go on her way but since the women showed kindness i will do her favor in return she swept the courtyard and filled the old women's water jars as a reward the old women told Kumba Amul exactly how to get to the sea of Daya Kumba Amul washed her calabash then returned to thank the women Women handled Kumba Amul three eggs to take on her journey home. Break the first egg at the edge of the forest, the second in the middle of the forest, and third at the end of the forest," said the women. Do, Do not mix them up. Kumba Amul took the eggs carefully so that she could remember which was which. As she entered the forest, she broke the first egg. At once an army on horseback stampeded out and gathered around her protectively. When she reached the middle of the forest, Kumba Amul broke the second egg. Out came hyenas, lions and pythons. She opened her mouth to scream, but the army chased the wild beast away before she uttered a sound. Finally she reached the other end of the forest. She broke the third egg. Merchants, musicians and the storytellers sang drum songs and presented her with bags of gold and fine clothes. On their arrival at the village, everyone came out to meet Kumba Amul. Look at all your sister has earned, snapped thick mother. Kumba Am, you must also go and wash a calabash in the sea of Dian. Kumba Am clutched the calabash and ran out of the village. She soon passed the babo tree that could shake down all its fruits. Without greeting the tree, she swiped as many as fruits as she could carry. Later, Kumba Am came upon the magic cooking pot. Without asking, she grabbed the stirring spoon and slurped up all the stew. The next day, the old woman invited Kumba Am into her house for stories. I don't have time for your tales, snapped Kumba Am. Show me the way to the sea of Dian. Despite her dreadful manner, the old woman showed her the way to the sea of Dian. When Kumba Am returned, 
the old woman gave her three eggs. Umma Ab yanked them from her hands and didn't listen to her instructions. At the edge of the forest, Kumba Am picked the largest egg and broke it. Out came wild bees. Kumba Am dropped the calabash and ran never to see again. That afternoon, the vulture snatched up the clean calabash bowl and wrapped it in front of the Kumba Am's mother. The mother cried. She knew her daughter's bad manners were learned from her own cruel treatment of Kumba Amul, who was now a married and gone. In her new house, Kumba Amul welcomed many children and stepchildren whom she brought up to her well-mannered and kind. She loved each and every one of them with all her heart and they all loved her back even with more.